obviously. Okay, so please state your name, title, and company affiliation. Hi, my name is Ben Jessel, and I'm head of growth at Cadena. Ben, can you talk a little bit about your background related to blockchain and healthcare and how you've gotten to where you are today? Great. So I've worked in consulting for about 18 years now, uh, really helping organizations get to grips with emerging technology and make it real. Uh, over the last four years, I have been exclusively in blockchain, uh, where I've helped large companies, particularly uh, Wall Street banks, uh, get from understanding what this nebulous technology is to actually a roadmap to implement. Awesome. Um, can you talk about maybe some in a little more detail about how you see blockchain being implemented, implemented into healthcare? Sure, absolutely. So there is huge opportunity in healthcare, and the reason is if you look at healthcare from a kind of systemic perspective, uh, it's a very fragmented industry. There are many providers, many payers, yet there is a patient life cycle that goes all the way through these parties in order to fulfill healthcare and then payments for insurance. But because of that fragmentation, you have data that lives in silos, you have huge inefficiencies, you have broken processes. So healthcare is a fantastic uh, industry for this technology because of that fragmentation. Now, with that come some challenges and risks. It's also a very highly regulated industry, both with HIPAA and other regulations uh, to do with protecting uh, clients' confidentiality. So the key with blockchain within healthcare is to find those use cases that are sufficiently able to move the dial, but at the same time, don't necessarily rub up against some of these uh, regulatory requirements that, while they may eventually be breached, uh, Again. You, can, you can pick up from there. This will all yep. be edited after the fact. Um, so the key is to find a use case that balances getting into production in a practical sense quickly with the ability to move the dial on something that's big, particularly giving in mind some of the uh, regulatory constraints such as HIPAA. So what would you say some of the most pressing issues are mm. that need to be solved immediately in blockchain and healthcare? Okay. So one area where we see a lot of inefficiency is around data management. So specifically, if you look at provider data management, an average provider spends $8 million a year on collecting provider data and validating it as part of a quarterly process that takes place. Now, across the industry, that's a $2.1 billion problem, where 75% of all of that data is duplicated today. And this is actually not data this isn't data which is specific to a. Uh, uh, this isn't data which is specific to a patient. This is data that is uh, about providers and doctors, and therefore um, can be used in a public setting. So, in that particular case, this is data that is not going to improve an organisation's uh, ability to compete, but is just a waste and operational cost. So, using blockchain to turn data from an operational cost to a monetizable asset becomes incredibly important. That's one of the key use cases that I see at the moment. So flipping it, and you start looking at now the upside of things, looking into 2019 and beyond that, mm -hmm. what, do you, what are you excited about that may be coming? I'm excited about where blockchain is actually eroding traditional uh, processes, uh, not with... I'm trying that again, mm -hmm. sorry. I think one of the most interesting areas where we're seeing blockchain being implemented is actually not in the US, but in other countries, such as India or Mongolia, for example. Here, governments have come together at a, uh, at a very high level to look to implement blockchain at a countrywide level to solve very specific problems. So I think we're going to see uh, the continuation of uh, this growth of blockchain-related activities outside the US, and then, having seen those being implemented, uh, the US will be a, a larger sponsor from a governmental perspective in order to take the best of what's happening outside the country. Any concluding remarks? Anything else you want to sure. leave people with? So blockchain is more than a technology. In fact, the technology is the, uh, probably the least important part. Uh, organizations that are adopting blockchain need to remember there's three components. Uh, the first component being architecture. It has to integrate into the legacy environment and it has to be scalable and it has to be performant. And this is a big challenge in the market today. Secondly, the business change is very large. It's not a technology project where you need one or two sign-offs from C-suite. You need, for a networked project, about 120 sign-offs from all the organizations involved. And that leads me to my third point. It's all about the partner ecosystem. 
you need to find organizations that are prepared to collaborate in a way where all their incentives are aligned. Awesome, yeah. That's it. Great. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank unless, you. Unless you want to keep going. No, this <laughs> is great. That's oh, all I have. You can make some sense out of that. Yeah, then, thank you so